13 years. I've spent most of my life with you only being 10% present. You missed a lot of special events. Days I wish Santa Claus is coming to town. Days I go crazy with firecrackers. And days I celebrate another year of life days I ought to shine in front of the audience to make you proud. Days I actually abide with your desire to see me wearing ladylike outfits. Days I get recognized in school to show you that every blood and sweat you spend on my education is worth. But I know why. I know why you had to sacrifice hundreds of things for this one particular purpose. You did everything out of love, right? Congratulations, because I'm healthy, I'm educated, all of this is possible because distance raised me. And you, mom, you provided for me. Kapag hindi ka nakaka-attend ng mga events namin, ng mga awardings ko, ng mga birthdays ko, ng mga maraming events na na mismo, do you cry at night or do you think about it. Yeah, siyempre, iniisip ko yan. Dapat andun ako sa anak ko. Yung, siyempre, ka, kung mayroon kayong mga awards na natanggap, di ba, parang masaya ako. Di ba, sabi ko naman sa inyo, yan lang ang aking kasay, kaligayahan pag narinig ko na, na may mga awards kayo. Siyempre, na, naingit ako na, ano, pero na, wala akong magawa eh. Kasi nga, nandyan ako, malaya, malaya ako sa inyo. Over 8 million Filipinos are working or living abroad. 5 million of those, women, leaving their children behind to seek wealth in the greener pastures, hoping to bring their families there someday. Someday. The unknown time in the future. Before I go to sleep at night, I pray. I pray to God to please make tomorrow that someday. Because I've waited too long just to permanently live with my mother. I say it like it's not every kid's right to live with their mother, to be raised by them. But to me, it isn't a right. It's a privilege. Other than that, bakit kailangan mo magibang bansa? Ah, uh, I'm so sober of yet you're my kids. Kasi malilit pa kayo, siyempre. And father niyo hindi na hindi na makatulong sa akin. 
Mm. Tapos uh, hindi ko kayang magbayad ng pagpapagamot sa kanya. O sa at least kahit pa paano ng ibang bansa, malaki ng konti ang save mo. Kaso nga lang, malayo ka naman sa pamilya mo. Yeah. Lalo na sa mga mm. anak kung malilit pa. If she had let her emotions control her, the moment she kissed my brother and I goodbye, my life would be in a totally different direction. But at first, I was angry. I couldn't believe how she could leave us like that. She's our only parent left and she still chose to leave. Why would I develop such an intimate relationship if one morning I wake up to my aunt telling me that she's going to be taking care of us for the meantime because her mom is going to be gone for a while? Since then, I would only see her for a month every two years since 2004. Sa pag umalis ako para hindi ako masaktan, patulugin ko muna kayo. Pag natulog na kayo, doon ako alis. Kasi masakit talaga dahil alam ko, iyak kayo ng iyak. Eh, ano? Lalo, lalo akong, ano, lalo akong, hindi ang mapanatag ang loob ko kung kayo, makita ko kayo na iyak ng iyak. Pero pag umaga, pagkatapos mo umalis, kami naman yung iyak-iyak ng sobra. Iyak yeah, kayo, <laughs> kayo na naman ng iyak-iyak dahil malamon. Sana si mama, sana si mama. At least ako, kahit tulog na kayo, at least umalis man lang ako, ako na lang iyak sa sarili ko. Paano may natitiis ma? Talagang mat- matatag talaga ako, matatag talaga ang aking kalooban. Matatag, dahil tinitiis ko talaga para sa mga anak ko lang. Hmm. Para sa kinabukasan niyo lang talaga ang iisip ko. The big box that she sends home is the closest I can get to her every year. Somehow these chocolates and branded items from overseas repair that hatred that I have inside. They compromise for her absence. They satisfy my longing for her for a short while. I was happy when they arrive. The camera, the shoes, the Taylor Swift perfume. While other mothers promise their child that they will always be there for them, that they always have a shoulder to cry on, that they will always protect their children from all harm. The only promise that I could ever hang on to from my mom is that these items will be delivered to me. And somehow I could feel her through them. Now after after everything that we talked about, para sa you, I know I'm pangikina. Sa akin, pagiging ina, uh, binibigay ko ang, binibigay ko sa inyo ang, ano, ang pangangailangan nyo. Sacrifice ko na sa dibdib ko yan. Pero, tinatanggap ko na yan dahil hindi ka nga kayo lumaki sa akin. Tinatanggap ko na yan kung anong masasabi nyo sa akin basta, Nagpakahirap ako maghanap buhay sa ibang bansa para nang magbigyan kayo ng mga ng edukasyon. Yan lang naman ang ano, ma-educate kayo ng maayos. Kasi para sa inyo din yan, hindi naman yan para sa akin. September 2016. It was a mix of excitement and sadness. I'm finally going to not only see my mom, but live with her. But that also means that I have to leave everybody that were with me since I came out to this world. The family that served as my physical mother and father, and the friends that shaped me. It sucks, I know. But I have to accept that distance will always be a part of me. Throughout the years, I learned to be independent to rely on myself because it is truly I that will always be there for me. I learned to work hard, telling myself that I won't let my lack define my abilities. And lastly, I learned that the truest form of love is a mother's love. No one else can sacrifice their happiness and dreams for another person's sake but a mother. All these important life lessons I learned from being a daughter of distance.